Hi, I'm Bill Darby, and welcome to episode number 53 of my Bark Stock Discussions. Bark rose 10 cents today to close at $1.40, with more than twice the normal volume traded. With the release of the quarterly report right after the market closed, Bark uh, fell down at the moment 13 cents in after hours trading. I just got off the conference call, and I'll be reading off a sheet some figures and some of my main impressions. Now, these figures all apply to the latest quarter. Revenue was $121.5 million, almost exactly as forecasted. Uh, there was a net loss of $4.9 million versus $14.4 million the quarter exactly a year previous. And EBITDA was $2.2 million, uh, which is a $5 million improvement over the quarter a year previous. Uh, Direct-to-customer uh, income was 5.7% less than the quarter a year ago, but store revenue was up 21% over the quarter a year ago. My main impression is that Bark is doing a skillful balancing act as the economy has suffered in the last year um, and it has a lesser number of subscribers. It has managed to place its uh, treats in many, many new retail locations. Um, as far as areas of growth for the future, Bark has uh, the CEO, Matt Meeker, mentioned two areas. Number one, Bark Air which is Bark's next growth opportunity. Uh, since there are many obstacles uh, to dogs flying with their owners conventionally, Bark is setting up special flights for, uh, so owners can easily travel with their dogs. And it's, there's terrific response to this. And uh, number two, uh, it's expanding its consumables in retail. I'm satisfied with the results. And... Um, I think uh, the CEO was too, because the tone of the his presentation, this this uh, conference call was uh, pride. At any rate, uh, from me to you, this is uh, Bill Darby and my cat Brody here uh, on a fine spring day on the wet side of Maui. Aloha from me to you.